In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a servo to your Smarty Bot. So, all of these connections here support servos, S1 to S10. So you've got 10 connections. You connect the servo by plugging in the socket onto one of those headers with the orange or yellow cable at the top. Then, um, let's create a new pad a blank pad and then over here I'm going to add one of these sliders and I'm going to map the slider to S1 and I'm going to put the zero point at zero and the other end to S1 at 100. Select it, save the pad, connect And now I can move the servo. So it's really that simple. Um, I could also um, connect a um, a pad that returns to center. Um, or I could even create a button that sets uh, sets a given position when it's pressed, say there, and then returns to center when it's released. So, um, let's connect this up to something uh, that uses servos, like this radio controlled car. So this is a Tamiya radio controlled kit. I've got the Smarty Bot board bolted into it with this 3D printed mount. I'm gonna connect the speed controller to S1, and I'm gonna connect the steering servo to S2. So I've got S2 mapped to this one, so I've got the steering. And I've got S1 mapped to this one, which is the speed. So, the throttle. So if I lift it up. Time to go for a ride. So this is a message from Safety Pug. Connecting your Smarty Bot board to a radio controlled model, like I've done in this video, does work. Um, it does allow you to control the model. It allows you to leave your radio control unit at home and just use your phone, which is cool. But I should state that it's not as good as controlling it with the proper radio control unit. The most important thing is the range. The range of Bluetooth with this uh, tiny little um, antenna on the board is uh, way, way, way smaller than the range with the radio control unit. So um, you probably can't depend on more than about 10 or 15 meters of range. The other thing is um, there are lots of other factors that can contribute to the Bluetooth connection dropping out and you losing control of your model. So if you're driving your model somewhere where there are lots of people around or it's something where if you were to lose control of it, there would be a big problem, like it flies, then I don't recommend connecting it to your SmartyBot board. 
but obviously there are lots of uh, situations where the model is small it's not dangerous that it's fine and also um, I think it's a cool thing to do because it opens up the opportunities for making your model programmable and allowing it to work with the AI which I'll cover in um, future videos so uh, I think this is a cool thing to do I think it's fun um, I think you can have fun with it but just remember that it's not as reliable as a proper radio control setup and uh, be considerate of that when you're using it and stay safe. Thanks for listening.